Hi and good day to Dr. Hilton. I'm the leader from groups too. My group member are Lao Jianping with Patrick No AF200125, Lim Si Hui with Patrick No AF200131, Marin Analaki Saravanan with Patrick No AF200102, and me, Wu Yu Ting with Patrick No AF200155, and Yun Sin Yi with Metric No AF200129. Our topic is Roof Shell. Hello, my name is Yun Sin Yi, and I want to present about the introduction for this project, which is Roof Shell. A shell structure is a slum or a thin curved membrane usually made up of reinforced concrete. And this concrete panel cylindrically and spherically are common used to ensure the strength of roof cell for it to remain strong for external force, which is wind force. The shelf roof is largely used in the modifications of a pitch roof and covers huge area of the building structures, for example, airport, stadium, library, other places normally built with shelf roof because it's very light in weight and shelf roof are able to reduce the use of reinforcing steel and concrete. Therefore, build shelf roof able to save the cost of development because the structural efficiency less material in general necessary compared to more traditional roof. Apart from this, in situ reinforced concrete is common material to make shelf roof. However, Timber and steel may be used for reinforced composite structures and like that. Because the, the slope of the roof and the curve of the arch must be concerned to build a strong and a stable building, and the lighting and ventilation arrangement in surf roof constructions must be carefully designed to ensure a good environment in building with. I am here to present about the background of study for roof shell. Roof shell can be known as a kind of structures that are made up from thin materials. As a basic knowledge for us, roof shell can be flat but are typically curved, which used to cover a large one-story buildings. There are several types of roof shelves in the world, but in this project, I mentioned about the barrel shell. Barrel shell means that it is a very thin arch shape their compressive strength to each other. The compressive strength from the arch had promote a large strong support to barrel shells for supporting to a large weight of structures. There are three types of barrel shells which commonly used in the constructions of building, such as single barrel shell multi barrel shell and continuous barrel shells. Single barrel shell. Single barrel shell look like a very long arch which usually used at a long rectangular building such as a dome shed at Pation in Rome. Multi barrel shell such as Eurosarin's JFK International Airports at New York. Continuous barrel shell. Continuous barrel shells such as airport, which require multi shells to cover its floor space, and finally will show a wave sheet of roof shells. Hi, good morning, and here today I am to talk about the history of roof shells. There were four main contributors. First of all, there was Anton Tedesco. Anton Tedesco contributed to the US Pier, and in Italy, there was Luigi Nervi. Luigi Nervi was a man who contributed to the fundamental uh, roof shell structures in Italy. And next up will be Eduardo Toroya and his um, disciple who is Felix Candela. These people contributed to the roof shells and dome structures in Spain, such as Orbetello plane stockpiling and Turin's article entryway. As you can see, the monolithic dome also can be related to this uh, structure. A roof shell structure as uh, it is a massive and majestic structure in Italy and you can see I've attached this table of four structures uh, around the world that still that are still stood in this today's world as you can see the first up is Pantheon second up is St. Peter's Basilica 
and both of these are located in Rome as Rome is hugely um, connected to these roof shell structures. They were massive back then. And you can see third up is Contanial Hall in Breslau and fourth up is Leipzig Market Hall in Germany. These are all the structures related to roof hall. Thank you. Good morning and good evening to Toto Hilton. My name is Lao Jinping. Uh, I will going to present the alternative method, uh, solution and the recommendation of the flat roof. Now I will going to explain a little bit about the introduction of the flat roof. It's made of the steel structure ceiling uh, because it is the cheapest and the most convenient roofing system. The flat roof is required to have a good weather resistant, high structure strength, fire protection and easy cleaning. This picture shows the orthography drawing of the gas station with meters and the value of the height of the roof, rest of the truss, length shed, length, the, length of the span, weight density of the flat roof. First, we calculate the volume of the flat roof, which is 4,375 meter cube, and the uh, lot add on the flat roof, which is 437,500 kN. The step, the step 2 is we calculate the wind loss, which is 25.6 PSF. Then we convert to the kilonewton per meter square, which is 1.23 kilonewton per meter square. And then the last step is we calculate the area of the flat roof, which is 1750 meters square. And then the wind loss, which is 2152.5 kilonewtons. And uh, lastly, we calculate the total lot add on the flat roof, which is 439,652.5 kN. Uh, the figure is show the free body of the diagram of the gas station by using AutoCAD drawing. Calculate the moment and the support relation of the beam, RA, RB, and RC. After we calculate the moment, uh, RA, RB, and RC are the, has the same uh, reaction, which is 146,550.83 kN. Uh, after we calculate the reaction, we can we need to sketch the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. For the recommendation of the roof shear structure, the best way of the prevent the roof pounding is to be proactive and keep the roof well maintained. It is important to ensure the gutter and the drain are maintained and any block and any blockage clear, clear as quickly as possible to prevent the pounding the pounding water. Metal is the most expensive roof type. However, the metal roofing has the longest lifespan lasting between 20 to 30 years. Metal is also an extremely durable material and is immune to cracks. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lim Si Hui, metric number AF200131. So I will explain about the dome roof soft. So we see an introduction first. The dome roof is a roof that's more designed in the building margins. By using the engineering and design principles, we must rotate them through a 316 degree radius. So the roof soft that we need can be created, which is the dome roof, which is the dome shape roof. Actually, the dome roofs include corn or onion shapes, rotational domes, umbrella domes, and so on. If you want to build dome roof, we can use rare types of material such as stone, wood, copper, and other materials. The material we use are to construct the dome roof to make sure it can be made up stable and not easily break. So if we want to know the long end of the hemisphere roof shaft, we might assume that the weight density is 100 kN per meter cube. So we want to multiply the volume. So the volume of the hemisphere, we must calculate. So using the formula of the hemisphere is 2 over 3 pi time radius power cube after hemisphere is 35 radius and the inner hemisphere is 33 radius 
So we substitute both radius inside the formula. We can get volume is 1.45 times 10 power 4 meter cube. So we multiply with a weight density, we get the ln is 1.45 times 10 power 6 kilonewton. So after we know the normal ln, we want to calculate the wind ln. For the wind ln, the formula is 0 0.00256 times the speed of the winds in mile per hour. So we assume that the speed of the wind is mile per hour is 100. So we get the wind ln is 25.6 psf. For 1 PFS is equal to 0 0.045 kN per meter square. So we change to the kN per meter square is 1.23. The area of the hemisphere, the formula is pi r cube. The area of the hemisphere is 2.1x times 10 power 4 meter square. So we can get the wind loan is 2.6x times 10 power 4 kN. So the total loan is 1.4x times 10 power 6 kN. The loan at of the hemisphere is distributed loan. So we must divide the lungs per the diameter of the upper hemisphere is 70 to get the distributed loan, which is 2.11 times 10 power 4 kN per meter. So after that, we must calculate the reaction at point B and the reaction of point A. If we want to calculate the reaction of point A or point B, we might assume the movement of the point A is equal to zero to find the reaction of the point B Y is equal to 7.40 times 10 power 5 kN. So we can use the same method to calculate the RAY. Or using other method, the sum of the Y acid is equal to zero. So we also can get RAY is equal to 7.4 times 10 power 5 kN. So we get the RBY and RAY. That's the reaction of point B and reaction of point A in Y axis. Unit is the same. So after we know the reactions, we can do some recommendations to the roadshop. So the first is an appeal could be made to provide an opening area at the price of the shelves. During the design process, the shelves can then be analyzed and studied if any changes will happen in shorter response. This shelf not is proposed to be built out using individual planner and should be performed to analyze the shelves with one panel amazing. This is to recreate a situation if the planner needs to be repaired or replaced. A dynamic analyzing needs to be performed on the shelves to assess its behavior against abnormal loading, conditions like windstorm and earthquakes. This will make the design more comprehensive. After we know that the dome roof and the flat roof, we want to do the comparison between both. So I make the tables so we can see clearly and know it easily. So for the dome roof, we know that the lawn added of the surface of the dome roof is 1.4x times 10 power 6 kN. But for the fan roof, it does have 4.4 times 10 power 5 kN. Because when you assume that, the wet density of the both is 100 kN per meter cube. But for the down roof and the flat loss, the volume is different. The down roof of the volume is bigger than the flat load, so that will affect the value of the lawn at the of the roof shaft. So after we know the lawns, we see when we want to make the down roof, it will very, very expensive and it just can attract the ice light of the humans. But compared to the flat roof, it's more cheaper. After that, we know that the dome roof and the flat roof must have advantage. So for the advantage of the dome roof is being aerodynamic will operate well against abortions, but for the flat roof is the most compatible against abortions. So the material we want to make the dome roof is trickless metal and glasses, but for the flat roof is PVC membranes, DPO membranes, EPDR, rubber membrane, modified bitumen, and rotted roofing.